Welcome to another video on my channel. Welcome to my channel, uh, or welcome back to my channel. For this video, it's gonna be spring cleaning, and it's not gonna be all done in one day, so it's gonna be multiple days just because I'm too tired to sit and clean or stand and clean all day. So this is all spring cleaning, so if you're not interested in spring cleaning, then click off the video. I thought one of the first things I would start off with is trying to get these random spots off the wall. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But I bought a magic clean eraser and I'm gonna try to get like all these little scuffs and stuff off the walls just because they kind of bother me and they're on the doors too like where we just had like dirty hands grab the door weird or like, I don't know, just over time there's been these like spots on the wall. So that's the first thing we're doing to start off this spring cleaning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I don't know if you can tell, but they're just like dingy finger marks, little scuffs like this, especially down towards the bottom where like shoes are kicked off. There's just like a bunch of little scuffs and fingerprints. So yeah, I'm gonna try to magic erase those off. We'll see how that goes. I have my eraser and I'm just gonna see how it goes. While I'm down here, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean the baseboards because they are pretty dusty and dirty. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that really quick. So, I think the eraser worked pretty freaking well. There's some spots that I miss. I'm obviously not gonna be able to get all the spots. I think it looks so much better. Like, that spot's still drying. You can kind of see the streak marks that are still drying, but I think it cleared it up. A little bit better, you probably can't even tell. I'm just gonna go hit some random spots around the house. You can watch me scrub the walls if you want to. <laughs> I didn't realize that the freaking pad like deteriorates as you're using it, so that's good to know. So this spot in the game room is probably the worst spot with scratches and scuffs because Kyle's chair is right here and he always like scratches it into the wall. So hopefully I can get off some of that. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go grab another one of these. I cut them in half, so I'm melting all over my arm. I'll be right back. I mean, that's pretty much gone. This has like actual scratches in the paint. Yeah, you can't even really tell besides like a scratch there maybe and a scratch there, but it looks so much better. The kitchen is also a big place for scuffs and like food stains on the walls. During Thanksgiving, Kyle spilt wine all over the floor, so maybe this will clean it off the door finally. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, don't think it's gonna get off. Dang it. I thought maybe it would come off. I don't think it's coming off. Bummer. Okay. I think that's it with the walls. I've gotten like all the major areas that I've seen a lot of scuffs. And I'll update you guys when I start the next spring cleaning task. I thought it was about time that I did another task. And my task is going to be to organize our shoe closet. This is what it looks like right now. It's not like super messy. When I think of spring cleaning, I think of doing things you normally don't do. Usually do like a full clean every week of the house. So I figured in the spring cleaning video, I would just do things I don't do weekly, which is like organize the shoes, clean out the closets, go through clothing, dust, wipe baseboards, clean the balcony, which is gonna be a major part of this, is cleaning and organizing the balcony because it has gone to complete crap the past few weeks. Obviously you'll see me like doing normal stuff, mopping, vacuuming. I thought it would be cool to include some stuff that I normally don't do. My light is blinking red over here because I'm out of water. I have to order some new ones. I keep neglecting to do that. I'm going to tackle this closet. 
My big old belly is blocking everything. I'm just kind of like going through the shoes and organizing them a little bit better. And then I'm gonna vacuum out the bottom because a bunch of stuff falls. And I usually put Kyle's shoes up higher than mine because he's taller than me. What are you coughing up? Mish. If you're gonna throw up, just throw up. Cough it out. <laughs> Did you hear that? <coughs> Getting rid of these shoes because I'm never gonna wear them ever again. And I don't like to hold on to stuff that I'm not going to wear. No sentimental value. Here's what it looks like now that I'm done. Doesn't look too different, just a little bit more organized. So I have all of Kyle's shoes from here up and then all of my shoes from here down. Since I have smaller feet, I can fit more shoes on each shelf. I don't really have many shoes. Usually just wear the same ones, usually these. <laughs> but he is a material boy, so he has a lot. I'll check back in with you guys when I do the next spring cleaning chore. I don't know when that's gonna be, but hopefully I can get all this cleaning done within the week. I don't really want it to extend longer than a week because that's just too much work. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I'm outside and for this portion of the spring cleaning vlog, I thought I would tackle our patio. She's been neglected for a few weeks. I haven't been out here at all. And the rug is all sorts of messed up. The table is covered in like, what looks like a few millimeters of freaking pollen. Our tablecloth flew off. Our seat cushions are disgusting and there's trash all over the balcony from like neighbors. All that stuff. There's a bee flying back there. So yeah, I'm going to tackle this area. I'm going to start with the table. I'm going to take all the linens inside and wash those. Wipe down the table and then pick up the trash. There's a wasp and a bee out here now. So great. I'm gonna wear gloves to wipe down the table because of all the pollen. Do you see that? That's crazy. these mosquito nets that I wanted to put up on the doors out here just because I've noticed like little gnats getting in and I know it's from these doors because the bottoms aren't sealed very well. It's getting hot out here and I kind of want to go inside. I'm literally sweating and yeah. So let's put these mosquito nets up. This thing is too small. I'm so dumb and I got the wrong size freaking things. I'm spent 15 freaking hours putting this velcro on there <sighs> well these magnetic screen door things were a complete bust i have to order a different size but the linens are done for the table so i'm gonna go ahead and put those on and then we'll be done with this balcony <laughs> Yay! So the balcony is done for now at least. It doesn't look too shabby. Can't really see much of a difference. Misha, are you hot? That's why I told you you shouldn't come out here. Um, I'm very hot. Very irritated that those doors were the wrong size. So I'm gonna order more and probably give these to somebody I work with or whatever. I will see you at the next test. I'm going to dust the fans 
and change the linens in the living room and in my bedroom. So that's what I'm gonna do now. bed frame and it's kind of hard to vacuum it our vacuum doesn't really suction up a lot of the dust and dog hair or whatever that gets attached to it so I bought a lint roller and I'm gonna try to lint roll this and see how much dust and hair and whatever else is accumulated on it I can get off <laughs> like a freaking dream I am so happy that this is actually working <laughs> Mish you look like a freak bouncing your head up and down like that use all of those to clean the bed frame it's actually kind of nasty how much stuff collected but we haven't cleaned it since we got it and it's been almost a year I'm going to go ahead and vacuum my room and put new linens on my bed. I am waiting for the pillowcases, like the actual case that covers the pillow, not the like normal pillowcase. I am waiting for that in the wash and also my pregnancy pillows covers in the wash too. So the bed won't be complete until later, but I'm going to go ahead and just put new sheets and a new comforter on it. And vacuum because Mishka left a lot of hair poofs. He's hypoallergenic, so he doesn't shed like when you pet him, like no hair comes out. And really, the only time I see hair is when I brush him. But recently, he's been leaving poofs everywhere. And by poofs, I'll show you what I mean. Like this. He leaves little poofs. That's a lot of hair. So, I don't know what it is from. Dusting and changing linens is basically all I have left, vacuuming, mopping. Most of my major organization stuff got done in the nesting series, made spring cleaning quite easy for me. I'm using one of these little feather dusters. I'm gonna try it on the blinds. Don't know how well it's gonna work. I've always been kind of sketched out by these because I feel like it, you just like fling the dust on the floor. But, you know. We shall try. Collected quite a bit. I honestly kind of like it. It's really quick rather than going through like each 
single thing. You don't like it? You should not like it. I think I like it. Now that everything is vacuumed and dusted, I'm gonna spray the perimeter of the room with home defense because I don't want bugs. Well, I'm going to bed for tonight, but my room is good. I promise. He's ready to go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I have to leave the house in like 20 minutes, give or take, maybe 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to get as much done in the living room until then. So I'm gonna dust real quick the blinds and the TV stand and the little shelf in the corner, and then I'm gonna vacuum, and hopefully I can get all that done before I have to leave. I doubt it's gonna take me 30 minutes, but we shall see. Mish, stay down. Now that the vacuuming's done, I'm gonna spray the perimeter of this room with home defense. Okay, well, I'm gonna go hang out at the beach and then we'll work on vacuuming the tile and mopping. So I'll see you in a few hours. So it's many, 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 many hours later and I have a very short list of things left to do for this spring cleaning video. I'm going to now vacuum and mop the tile flooring and then spray home defense. And then we'll jump into the next thing I'm gonna do after that. So we're gonna start in the kitchen, then we're gonna do the entryway, guest ba bathroom, and then master bathroom. Keep up, follow along, enjoy. My last task for this video is going to be replacing all the empty Airwick liquids around the house. We have so many and they've been empty for a hot minute. Some of them have been filled, some of them aren't. So yeah, we're gonna go through and replace all the empty ones. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not your run-of-the-mill spring cleaning video, I feel like. I kind of went out of order and did, didn't do like one whole room at a time. I kind of just jumped around the house to what I felt like doing. It took me a week to get everything done, but I hope it inspires you to get clean and get organized. Um, and if not, you can just live vicariously through me. <laughs> All I am ever doing is cleaning and organizing. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And leave a comment down below of anything else you'd like to see from me on this channel. And Misha and I will see you guys in the next video.